We're here with Shayo Daramola, who just won the women's hammer throw at the Kaduna Golden League. Shayo, how do you feel about your performance today? Um, I would actually just say I managed it. I would not say I was, I cannot say I'm sad, and I cannot say I'm happy, but I could also say it's, it's a good way to start a season, although I expected to do more. I was well. Uh, Shayo, there were just two of you competing in the hammer today. Um, how do you think that affected the competition? You know, do you think you guys would have done better if you were more, for example? Yeah, definitely. I think we would have done better if we were more than that because most of the times when we're all together, we're so many, we always challenge ourselves. You know, we always challenge ourselves and then at the same time we push ourselves as well. So when it comes to a situation where you have just two, the motivation is not as much as the way you would actually want it. And then apart from that, it was more or less like we had um, a marathon throw, you know. As one person was going to pick, the other one was coming to throw, as one person. So, you know, we weren't resting in between. There was not enough recovery for us because if we were more than that, you know, by the time two or more people go and throw the hammer, by that time your body would have been well rested a bit before going for the next one. So what would you be hoping to see in subsequent competitions? Oh, definitely. I actually hope to continue moving up, definitely before we go for the main national trials. Because for me, I think it would, I've always had... Um, I've always had a thing where I can actually predict the, how many meters I will go before you know, we end the season or before we do a national trial. So I just don't want, I don't want to rush it. I just want to be progressing. I want to be progressing as it comes. So as I've done this meter now, I'm hoping by the next one, I should be able to go for at least a 55. You know, every time we come, we have to go back home and go and, you know, um, we have to go and fall back on what we've done here and try and correct a lot of technical issues because Hama is a very technical event as well. So, you know, sometimes when you throw, you miss one particular part of the throws so you always have to go back home so I'm not looking at rushing into it but I hope and I'm really hoping that I get to make the standard before the main national trials so that's it and how would you feel um, making the team for the Commonwealth Games oh I think I would like it I made the team in 2014 but you know of course due to a lot of things and everything it wasn't happening but you know I'm really hoping and I pray that you know I continue to work harder because, you know, everybody uses religion, but the religion is normal, but, you know, you just have to push yourself. That's the way it is. You have to work hard for it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll go back home and go and work hard to try and make the, the um, standard. As yeah, someone who has been in the throws for some time, you know, what's your opinion about the state of um, throws, especially for the women in Nigeria? Um, with the throws, I think the... There are a lot of things that we need to do. Like I always say to the others, and even this new dispensation, that they need to put more effort into the th uh, throws event. I know they're trying in whatever they're, you know, in what they're doing, and I also know it's not easy because it has to do with the technical crew as well. So, but the thing is, I think we should. We have a lot of strong people in the throws events. When you're talking about, I'm talking about all throws in this aspect as well, you know, but it's just not always, I think we need to invest in them. And apart from that, I think we need to give them that encouragement that, you know, that is needed for us to be able to make it. Because we have a lot of strong boys, we have a lot of strong girls as well, you know, so we just need to try and, you know, encourage us more and everything so that we can move further. Like I always say, back in 2014, 2015, we threw more than that. I remember Queen throwing 63, I threw 61, you know, high. And I felt like if they had put more encouragement and more investment into us, I, I'm sure by now we won't even be talking about still throwing, you know, this particular kind of meter. By now we should be talking about world class, you know, trying to, would have probably been like 70, we're talking about 2014, and we're in 2017, so I think we would have gone more, but because of the fact that things, we didn't have any form of encouragement from anybody, I think it, instead of us progressing, we're regressing, and that's what happens, because when you don't have any form of encouragement, any form of push from, you know, the, the, the federation, it, it tells a lot. Um, Nigeria is always um, being described as a country of sprinters, you know. Yeah. Do you, how do you guys, um, you throw us still, you know, when you hear that consistently and you feel like, you know, you guys are being sidelined, you know? If any thrower tells you that they're not sidelined, they're lying. 
they're obviously lying because a lot of us feel like that. A lot of us feel like that. And we actually feel like, I know for some other countries, we know that we have the sprinters, but there's some other countries that, that, that look at, they have prospects in their throwers. So most of them go into their throws as well. You know, it's like, I'll give an example. It's like when you're doing the festival, the national festival, they make sure that all the throws are complete. The throws even give you more points, you know, than even the sprinters as well. You know, but I'm not saying the sprint is good and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think it's high time that we have um, a concentration of all events, all events. Because even with the long distance runners, we've had a lot of good run, run, um, long distance runners back in the days as well. You know, but due to the fact that there was no form of, you know, competitions, even encouragement, everything went down. Everything went down. So that's what I really do feel. I would not lie. The sidelining of the throws is a big thing. It's a massive thing. Some, um, we had these two guys. Over two guys did 70 meters, if I'm not, if I'm correct. That was about last year or two years ago. But 70 meters has still been, I don't, anybody has hardly, they're even struggling to still do the 17 now. And now we're talking about 22 meters. That's what the big guys are throwing. So if we have some strong guys who are doing 22 here, it's probably one thing or the other. There's no cash for them to continue training. The facility is wrong, you know. They don't have enough facility to do their, their training. Like we as well, we, have, we always have issues. In Lagos, we need to we move around. We practically move around. We used to train in the police college. They stopped us from using it. We used to use Unilag. Now we pop practically have to beg them to allow us to use it. You know, now we have to use like a tiny space inside the national stadium. And we have to be very careful not for the hammer to go outside of that place because if it goes outside, it's going to hit someone's head. So things like that, it, psychologically, it doesn't make you balance because you feel like as if you're going to, uh, and you know, just hit it on someone's head. So it won't give you that push that you know you want to. Inside the national stadium, we're not allowed to throw as well. So it's a major big thing. It's a big thing. Thank you very much for this interview, Shay. You're welcome. <laughs>